In this video, we will discuss about the metabolism of drugs, also known as biotransformation of drugs, phase 1 and phase 2 reactions, and its subtypes. Lipid soluble drugs, first metabolized into derivatives that can be easily eliminated through the urine or the bile, with very few exceptions. All drugs are subjected to metabolism through one or multiple pathways, which constitute the phase 1 and phase 2 enzymatic systems. Phase 1 reactions, in which the enzymes carry out oxidation, reduction, or hydrolytic reactions, and the phase 2 reactions, in which enzymes form a conjugate of the substrate. Beside this, some drugs spontaneously inactivated without the involvement of an enzyme through molecular rearrangement in body fluids. This kind of elimination of a drug is called Hoffman elimination. For example, atrocarium follow this kind of metabolism. In addition, drug may be metabolized by gastric acid for example, penicillin. By starting with phase 1 reactions, phase 1 reactions are also known as non-synthetic or functionalization reactions. These reactions convert lipophilic drugs into more polar molecules by unmasking or introducing a polar functional group, such as hydroxyl, carboxylic acid, thiol, oxygen or NH2 group. Phase 1 reactions usually involve oxidation, reduction or hydrolysis. A major enzyme system that catalyzes phase 1 type drug metabolism reactions is the microsomal cytochrome P450 max function oxidase system. The addition of functional groups does little to increase the water solubility of the drug but usually lead to an activation of an active drug. In certain cases, metabolism leads to bioactivation of a drug. Inactive drugs that undergo metabolism to inactive drug is called a fraud drug. For example, cyclophosphamide and aspirin. Phase 1 metabolism may increase, decrease, or have no effect on pharmacological action of an active drug. Phase 1 reactions include, first one is oxidation. This reaction involves the addition of oxygen or negatively charged radical and removal of hydrogen or positively charged radical. Oxidative reactions are mostly carried out by cytochrome P450 and flavin-containing monooxygenase enzymes, mostly in the liver. Drugs undergo various oxidation reactions, some of which are hydroxylation. Hydroxylation reactions involve the hydroxyl group addition to the drug molecule. Drugs like ibuprofen, midazolam, phenytoin, and warfarin are hydroxylated. Second type is N-D-alkylation. N-D-alkylation reactions involve the removal of an alkyl group from the drug attached to a nitrogen atom in the drug molecule. Drugs like diazepam, caffeine, and theophylline follow this pathway. Next one is O-D-alkylation. This reaction involves the removal of an alkyl group attached to an oxygen atom of the drug molecule. Endomethacin and dextromethorphan undergo metabolism by O-D-alkylation. Fourth one is deamination. In these reactions, removal of a minor group from a drug happens. For example, diazepam. 
Next one is in oxidation. In oxidation reactions are those oxidation reactions involving nitrogen atom of the drug molecule. For example, chlorpheniramine. Next one is is oxidation. Oxidation reactions involving sulfur atom in a drug molecule. For example, omeprazole and cimetidine. Seventh one is desulfuration. The reaction in which a sulfur atom is removed from the drug. For example, thiopental. The last one oxidation reaction is dehydrogenation which involve removal of water molecule from a drug for example ethanol second type of phase one reactions is reduction this reaction is the opposite of oxidation and involves cyp 450 enzymes working in the opposite direction drugs mostly reduced are Chloral hydrate, halothane, chlorampenicol, clonazepam, and naloxone. Third type of phase 1 reactions is hydrolysis. This is the breakdown of drug molecule by taking off a molecule of water. Examples of hydrolyzed drugs are succinylcholine. Procaine, lidocaine, aspirin, and endomethacine. Besides this, a drug can undergo more than one type of reactions. In addition to it, if the metabolite from phase 1 metabolism is sufficiently polar, it can be excreted. However, Many phase 1 metabolites are still too lipophilic to be excreted. A subsequent phase 2 metabolism results in polar, usually more water soluble drug metabolites to be excreted easily. Phase 2 reactions are also known as synthetic or conjugation reactions. Phase 2 reactions are anabolic reactions in which an endogenous chemical conjugated mean covalently attached to the drug or its space 1 metabolite to form a polar highly ionized organic acid which is easily excreted in urine or bile. The endogenous substrates are usually derived from carbohydrates or amino acids. Drugs already possessing in hydroxyl, sulfahydryl, amino, or carboxylic acid group may interface to directly and become conjugated without prior phase 1 metabolism. Conjugate formation involves enzymes transferases which are located in microsomes or in the cytosol with high concentration mainly in liver in other sites like kidney, GIT, and CNS. Phase 1 reactions usually result in the biological inactivation of the drug. Phase 2 reactions produce a metabolite with improved water solubility and increased molecular weight, which serves to facilitate the elimination of the drug from the tissue. Metabolites are mostly inactive except few drugs, for example glucuronide conjugate of morphine and sulfate conjugate of minoxidil are active. Generally, phase 2 reactions are relatively faster than P450 catalyzed reactions, thus effectively accelerating drug biotransformation. Phase 2 reactions include First one is glucuronide conjugation. This is the most important synthetic reaction carried out by a group of UDP glucuronide transferases, UGTs per shot. Drugs with a hydroxyl or carboxylic acid group 
easily conjugated with glucuronic acid derived from glucose. The bond formed between drug and glucuronic acid are sensitive to beta glucuronidase enzymes of bacteria in GI tract and thus responsible for enterohepatic recirculation of some drugs. Examples of drugs metabolized by this way include chloramphenicol, aspirin, paracetamol, lorazepam, morphine, and metronidazole. Not only drugs, but endogenous substrates like bilirubin, steroidal hormones, and thyroxine utilize this pathway. Glucuronidation increases the molecular weight of the drug which favors its excretion. Next one is acetylation. Drugs that contain an aromatic amine or hydrazine group conjugated with acetyl coenzyme A with the help of an acetyl transferase. For example, sulfonamides. Isoniazid, Defson, and Clonazepam. Third one is methylation. Drugs with amine or phenol group methylated by methyl transferases. For example, adrenaline, L dopa, methyl dopa, and captopril. Another type is sulfate conjugation the phenolic drugs and steroids are sulfated by sulfotransferases SVLT is per shot located in the cytosol for example chlorampenicol methyl dopa in adrenal steroids furthermore Sulfation is known to activate the orally active prodrug minoxidil into a very efficacious vasodilator. Next one is glycine conjugation. Drugs having carboxylic acid group are conjugated with glycine. For example, salicylates and nicotinic acid. This is a minor pathway of metabolism. The last one is glutathione conjugation glutathione conjugation is carried out by glutathione is transferase it is normally a minor pathway however it serves to inactivate highly reactive intermediates formed during metabolism of certain drugs for example paracetamol metabolism of drugs is mainly done for elimination and excretion although some drugs are excreted as such from the body however large number of drugs undergo metabolism in which some drugs only follow phase 1 metabolism or phase 2 metabolism and excreted from the body but most of the drugs undergo phase 1 followed by phase 2 metabolism in contrast to it only a few drugs first undergo phase 2 followed by phase 1 reactions like isoniazid first is acetylated by phase 2 metabolism and then undergo phase 1 hydrolysis reaction and with this thanks for watching our video and support us by subscribing our channel.